Hey folks, how are you doing? Just want to show you quick. Uh, been working on last actually four days on the folders, and I had pretty rough time. Almost nothing worked out, you know, the way it's supposed to. The first I got them done, but it was pretty nerve wracking. When I actually shipped yesterday, it went to one good customer of mine. This one goes to another one. They just happened to grab it, you know, offered me good money for them. So they didn't even make it to the gear bastion. You know, it happens sometimes. <laughs> Unless the people throw money at you, so you sell it. Uh, that's just reality. But it's again, no orders, nothing. It just it was done, I showed it. They were just really quick approaching me before I posted it on Gear Bastion. It happens once in a while, but still, more of the more of the blades make it to Gear Bastion. Like the switch on this. This one has a pretty cool, like a worn out copper wash. It was copper wash, but then it was really long, long stone wash. So it's stood only on the kind of like areas that are they don't impact the the stone wash media doesn't impact it as much. So you have the spine is pretty still heavy copper the tip and the flipper so it has a cool effect it's just oil from the inside cool effect of that like a worn out copper version in the logo it's pretty much all the areas where they kind of deflect the media well or uh, the media doesn't get there that still has the copper wash and it has a cool look it goes well with that kind of like a bronzish when you clean this with windex it's actually almost like a rust looking rusty color titanium this one has a very very strong dit and a lock, which means it fires really quick. And because of the, all the hassles, especially today, it really was a day that normally if I had the days like this, you know, when the things go bad, I just, it's not a giving up, it's just you let things go, stop and just don't work anymore. But I just really wanted to do stuff today. And uh, it wasn't working, nothing was working the way I wanted. But I wanted to treat myself again Sunday, so I wanted to treat myself and I did this one for me. It's a variation of a large flipper, you kind of see the difference in the handle. You know, took off a lot of material back here. It might not look like a lot, but it actually is a fair amount. Look at that, you know, a lot from the top, a lot from the bottom. The butt completely changed, actually let off of the one standoff, so it's on the one standoff back construction and uh, also made it more of a spear point took off the belly because in a closed position that belly original belly would be close too close to here and i want to always on my knives it's like there's no way that you can even if you accident somehow really slip the finger in between the scales you can never touch the you know the tip or the or the edge that's just you know one of the things i really take care you know really pay attention to so this one has also a pretty cool swatch, bunch of jimping, I just kind of like, uh, I don't like it personally on my eyes, but I just love the looks, it just makes it look a little nice, a little cooler. And now when I have a pretty decent techniques for jimping, it's, it's not such a pain. So, black Damascus clip, a little left of right head from the previous one, done different way again because the whole construction changed, it's actually traditional two screws, there's a nice good looking I think pocket clip there you see kind of like that emerald green and black a little bit of blues in there too I like that a lot oh by the way uh, one of the things that didn't work out was this was actually kind of like a scrap blade because the hole was drilled it looked probably crooked because I had big problems so what I did actually I redrilled with the carbide uh, on the mill I redrilled it with for 316 and drew the scales for 316 Put the 316 ceramic GDC bearings inside and you know made it work with the 316 pivot. Uh, don't like 316s for this size, the 18 is more than enough. It's I don't know, it's, I think it's just it's nicer. What oh, is a little sticky oil got there, probably? I literally just put it together, it's not even sharpened yet. It's almost midnight, and <laughs> I just finished. I just wanted to show you something because I haven't uploaded a night video. In a while and I see that I will have to still probably carbonize the lag or probably just get the oil out of there it's probably just full of oil I always all them all you know put a tons of oil inside and when it gets on the lag face it gets sticky sometimes so guys hope you enjoyed it 
Thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.